All right, so really Scott is back again for the sequel to Prometheus. Let's get into this. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. All right, guys, welcome back. This is my review for Alien Covenant. I was looking forward to this film, thought it would be pretty good, but I wasn't like super duper excited over the moon for it. Um, but I saw it, I was lucky, and I saw it. Uh, this is directed by Ridley Scott, of course. He is the guy that directed the first Alien movie that came out in 1979. Um, I saw that movie, of course. I thought it was great. James Cameron did the sequel, Aliens, plural, which I did not see, but everyone tells me that it's good. Every, you know, they there's kind of like a, you know half and half as far as people saying is Aliens or Aliens better. You know, some people are saying that Alien is a great original movie, while Aliens is like a great action movie, and, or Aliens is a scary movie, excuse me. Um, I did not see Aliens 3 or Aliens Resurrection. I did see Alien vs. Predator 1 and 2, and they were okay. They, you know, they were just okay. Part 2 kind of sucked. And I also did see Prometheus. And I like Prometheus, and Prometheus came out in 2012. It wasn't necessarily an alien movie necessarily, but it was in the same universe if you haven't seen it. And that's what got me excited about it. And I thought it was a great movie, but this movie did have mixed reviews. Some liked it, some did not. A lot of people were complaining about plot holes in this movie. I couldn't think of any myself, or I can't think of any right now. So if you know of any, please put them in the comment section. Uh, let's talk about it. But I did like this movie. But one thing that was disappointing in this movie is the way it ended. You, you know, it had to do with the engineers. And that they potentially, are they the ones that made man, us humans? Are they the ones, or, you know, are we seeds from them, them planting their seeds? So, you know, we their offspring or where does man come from is kind of what this movie was uh, dealing with. And it was entertaining, but, at the, you know, it ends and you're like, okay, this is kind of like a part one and, um, you know, and a two part series. And so... Um, the uh the uh, uh Blom Kemp guy that did uh District Nine and uh Chappie, which I hated that movie, and Elysium, which I love that movie. He was rumored to do Alien Five that could possibly pick some of this stuff back up, but they got him out of there, brought really Scott back, and now he's doing Alien Covenant. And some people at, at the beginning didn't know where this would tie in with the story, but this I will go ahead and say this is a sequel to Prometheus. I'm not going to say how much time has passed from Prometheus to Alien Covenant, but I will say that it's a sequel. And um, while I did enjoy Prometheus, I did not enjoy Alien Covenant uh, pretty much at all. And the reason why is I thought the story was horrible. Um, the characters, none of them were likable and I barely remember them. And also Alien Covenant completely abandons pretty much everything that came before in uh, Prometheus. And in the ending of this movie, I'm like, okay, what the hell? Why would you make this decision? I don't know where this movie can go from here. Now, something that I really did like about Prometheus is Elizabeth Shaw, played by Numi or Naomi Rapace. Please excuse me if I did not pronounce her name correctly. I liked her character in Prometheus. Uh, she was, I mean, kind of slightly annoying at times, but, you know, nobody's perfect. But she just felt like somebody that I could relate to. She had a strong belief system. And, you know, whether it's talking about God and they had those uh, flashbacks with her and her father. You know, and why do you believe this? And it's like, you know, I believe in this because I choose to. You had Charlize Theron's character in that movie that was just like really cold. And, you know, um, she had the thing going on with Idris Elba's character, you know, them getting it on. Then you had Michael Fassbender over here playing this uh, robot android type thing. You just had all these characters that I cared about. And Noemi, uh, uh, Elizabeth Shaw character, she had like a boyfriend or a husband and they were getting it on. And, I, you know, I actually cared about these people. In Alien Covenant, I did not care about anyone at all. Just the very beginning of the film, things happen and people die already. And then you're just supposed to just get on board with them. But the person that comes in, Eric Banner, the captain of the ship, is that his name? Um, I feel like I, I feel I don't feel like that's his name. I think it's it's not Eric Banner. It's um, I don't even remember it. That's the thing. 
I don't even remember his name in the movie, so I can't like look up his name. Like that's sad. I mean, the only person I see, Michael Fassbender and Danny McBride. Like I don't. I, and this guy is he. You know this guy, the one of the main. Okay, yeah, Billy Kudrup. This guy, Oram. Um, it took me that much. I had to do all of that to remember somebody that I saw in the movie. He's coming onto the scene trying to uh, save the day and give orders and stuff, and he's just whack. I mean, like, nobody wants to follow this guy. It's just, I mean, come on, guys. Well, we have to do this, and the procedure says that we'd go 1, 2, 3, X, Y. And I know you want to go to Q, but we have to go to M first. I mean, come on, guys. I'm trying. Okay, can you just... Like, that's how his character is. At the very beginning of the movie. And you guys are going off into space trying to colonize another planet because, you know, we don't know why, uh, it, you know, you're leaving Earth and you wanted to colonize another planet. But this is the people that are left in charge? Okay. And, and like, everyone else just follows suit. And then there, no one is following orders. And when it comes to their decision-making skills, it's just ridiculous. They're using emotion instead of logic. I know that you are... Like you're there with some people and there should probably even be a rule that says you can't do that because it'll be a conflict of interest and judgment while you're on this trip trying to colonize another planet going across the galaxy or whatever, wherever the hell you're going. But no one is following orders. People are replacing logic with emotion and just the computer is like, if you go to these depths in the ship, you will die. I, I, hey, I want to do it anyway because we got to I mean, it's like, come on, use your common sense, use your better judgment. And none of the characters are doing that at all. Excuse me. And it's just really frustrating. And then the movie just completely abandons what came in Prometheus. I mean, none like I don't know who they, they didn't address the engineers at all. Um, they didn't address who made who made human beings, where they come from, like they tease us in Prometheus. Just none of that. The, um, I don't want to spoil it for you, but we get a brief glimpse of the two characters that ended this movie. And if you've seen it, you know who I'm talking about, David and Elizabeth Shaw. I mean, you know, we get a, a brief glimpse of that. And then the alien covenant is just kind of pretends, in my opinion, that this, this thing didn't, you know, um, like it didn't exist. And I know, like, it was supposed to be in a parallel world, but you have to understand, like, you knew at the end of this movie that people were frustrated. It came out in 2012. This is five years later now. You you could have did a better job to wrap that up, even if you wanted to have Alien go this way and more Prometheus go this go this way. You just could have really, Scott, I just feel that you could have did a better job tying all that together. And, you know, giving the giving the film some hope and the fans some hope, the people that like this. Because, I mean, I don't know. I just didn't like it at all so the characters i mean the story abandoned what came before the characters uh really sucked and it's just like these guys are space travelers they should be mentally prepared to run into anything they come in contact with and as soon as things get a little rough one character is like just panicking beyond belief and i'm just like what, what? If, if if this is how you react to certain situations, who is the person that approved you to go on this mission? It just doesn't make any damn sense. That's like some of, they chose the worst of the worst instead of the best of the best. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, oh, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's just so damn frustrating. And it's like at the very beginning of this movie, humans are dying, not because the aliens are killing them, because of stupid clumsiness. Really? Are you serious? Clumsiness is killing people instead of the aliens? I don't want to see that crap. I want to see some aliens kicking the humans' ass and the humans giving everything they possibly can to survive. And there's just nothing like that. They're dying because of just stupid clumsiness. And that is just something that I don't want to see. And then, like, the highlight of this film is a hand-to-hand -hand battle between two individuals. Yeah, this is an alien movie. There's also a giant plot hole in the middle of it. I'm like, wait a minute. If you said you did this, then why did you show me this? I mean, I can't spoil it for you. And then this, the way this movie ended was just trash. I'm like, really? Where can the movie go from here? I mean, like, what, what? And there's supposed to be two more sequels after this one? Where can the movie go? I have no idea. There's no happy ending. It doesn't always have to be a happy ending. Like, Saw wasn't necessarily a happy ending, but I respect that for some reason. But this, I just don't. I mean... 
Uh, I wish I can talk spoilers, but uh, I, I just don't care. This movie, this was not good to me. I was very frustrated. As soon as they started doing all that clumsy crap towards the beginning, I'm like, what What the hell is this? Um, but guys, if I had to rate this movie out of a 1 out of 10, I would give this movie a 3 out of 10. Yes, a 3 out of 10. But that's just my opinion. Have you seen Alien Covenant yet? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. Guys, I want to go to the red carpet premiere of Marvel's Black Panther that comes out February of 2018. Is it likely that I'll go? Who knows? It's a long shot, but I'm going for it. So help me out by sharing this video 1,000 times. If you also like this video, you can give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like, if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me a thumbs up. Since you're here on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. With it being summer movie season, I'm going to try to give you as much as I can. And also, guys, look me up on my website, Book Market. Also, go to uh, my social media and look me up there. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash review of Alien Covenant. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brendan Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.